Hey, this is Jeff with Miller's RV. I'm here today to answer the question, which satellite system is gonna work best with my RV? Now there's a number of factors that come into play. Uh, both satellite systems work really well. Really well. Um, I personally have DirecTV at my house and I've had them for a long time. Um, but there are a couple of disadvantages with DirecTV versus Dish Network. On DirecTV, your, um, one, your, your picture that's gonna come in on a dome satellite. So that's all of your standard satellites, whether it's in motion or the stationary that we set up on the ground, uh, or the one that's mounted on the roof, the stationary, not counting the big traveler satellite. They're all gonna be a standard definition picture versus a high def picture because they actually use two different um, broadcast uh, bands and there's two different LMBs that receive it. And right now this only receives one of those. So DirecTV does have a limitation with that. It's gonna be standard definition versus high definition. Um, the other limitation to it is that their programming does require you to do a two-year subscription. If you already have it at your house, obviously you can add another unit onto your subscription. Um, lastly, and we'll post this on the, have this on the screen as well, there are certain receivers that are compatible with the DirecTV uh, antennas, the dome antennas, without having to do anything. We'll have those on there without that you actually have to add what's called a swim kit, which will add the signal into it so your older receivers will work with these satellites as well. So we do have those swim kits for you as well. And again, we'll have the units that work posted for you. DISH is the other option. Now DISH has really gone after this RV market very, very well. And they focused on it a couple of the complaints that people didn't want to do it to your subscription because they're only going to use it three or four or six months out of the time. So they have a pay as you go campaign, which you can actually get your service for one month, turn it off, a month later, turn it back on, or just go whenever you want, just a month at a time. So it does make it very easy to set that up and not have to uh, have it to your subscription, not have to pay for it when you're not using it. The dish signal is also HD. Now with DirecTV, you do get your uh, Major League Baseball and your Sunday game ticket and stuff. You don't get those with dish, but for the general purpose of using it with the RV, it is an HD picture. It's very simple and it's actually a little less expensive unit. We do have our Dish Playmakers, which are specifically for Dish. They won't work with DirecTV, while our the G2 for WineGuard will work with DirecTV or Dish. It'll flip back and forth. The Dish Playmaker is actually a much less expensive unit to start with, and currently right now we have an end-of-the-year clearance, uh, model clearance on a bunch of these. So if it's something you're interested in from now through middle of January, we are clearing out our current inventory of that, uh, just because we're about to go to a part show and order some more. So for an RV, the Dish probably is, is more popular in RVs just because we do have the HD signal, the pay-as-you-go program, and your equipment starts out as less expensive. We also carry the Wally receivers in stock. Um, really nice thing I love about the Wally receivers, the remote control that comes with it is an RF remote control. The old remote controls are infrared, meaning you have to have line of sight. So if you have in a cabinet, you gotta open your cabinet door. And if it's kind of sitting back in the cabinet, you gotta hold your arm up like this when you're changing channels, kind of a pain. The, re the receiver, the Wally receiver that comes with these has the RF. So as long as you're pointing in the right direction, it'll work through walls. It'll actually work from outside, going inside to change channels if you have it playing on outside TV, but it makes it really, really, really simple. They also have upgrades where you can add um, a DVR capability to it. You can add a Bluetooth uh, headphone capability, which works really well. So if you're having multiple people in a room, one person can be watching the TV with the Bluetooth headphones coming straight from the receiver, not having to have everybody else listen to it. You can add an over-the-air antenna. So your normal signal that's coming in from your over-the-air antennas, your local channels and stuff, will actually play on your Wally um, guide and everything else. And you can just play it and change the channel just like you normally would with any of the satellite channels coming in. Um, so a lot of different upgrades you can do that and you can add the Wi-Fi extender. So if you want a place to be able to have your Netflix and all that kind of stuff all through the same box that Wally is designed to do all that. So currently right now the Wally, the dish does seem to be our more preferred method. We do both and we saw a lot of both of these, but the dish right now probably wins out. So if there's any other questions, please give us a call, email us at Jeff at Mills RV, call our phone number 225-275-2940, or just come by the store and pick up one. We'll be glad to help you any way we can. Remember, this is all to help you enjoy the journey. Hey, this is Jeff at Mills RV. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Check out one of the other videos linked here or su subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get all the video updates when we come out with them. Catch our content on Facebook as well or visit our website, millersrv.com. Again, Jeff at Millers RV reminding you always enjoy the journey.